Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. The one thing that I cannot talk about, and if I do, I get tremendous blowback, feedback, and people really get pissed off. One thing. Check out all my books on audible.com. Well, there is one uh, subject that I can't seem to discuss and I can't seem to bring up with all sorts of, you know, without all huge amounts of controversy and uh, people just getting, you know, mad and angry and screaming at me. And honestly, it's not vaccines. It's not vaccinations. I made a few, uh, you know, videos years and years ago, uh, you know, really going against Ben Shapiro because he's a big, huge advocate of, of vaccinations. Um, and, you know, I, I got some discussion on it, but people don't go berserk. The one thing you cannot discuss with, I can't discuss and I can't bring up without getting huge amounts of controversial, angry comments, dismissive comments, insulting comments, and I get them all over my social media, and that is meat. When, as soon as I tell people, this is not a healthy thing you should be eating, they go berserk. There's no doubt. They just they go nuts. They can't believe that I'm saying this, and they start telling me how healthy it is. And they point they point to the uh, the people that are on 100% uh, meat diet, and uh, you know which is kind of the the carnivore diet they call it. It's really the you know high protein diet, whatever. It's another one. You know you've got the high protein diet, and you've got the low uh, the high fat diet, and the low carbohydrates. You should, if you remove carbohydrates from your diet, you will lose a lot of weight. Now. Uh, that's true and lose you know weight loss if especially if you're heavy um, you know and carrying around extra you know fat there um, it's not healthy for you so that's good but it, because you're losing weight that doesn't mean you, you're doing something that's healthy for you you know they call this the keto diet because you're producing all these ketones so they they start bringing this up but all I got to do years ago I made you go back and look at it I, I made a video called 14 questions for meat eaters Okay, 14 questions, not 14 accusations, not, not 14 condemning people to eating meat for all these different reasons. No, just 14 questions. And you know what? Meat eaters freaked out. Oh, they were so angry with this. And, uh, you know, I got, I, I got a lot of people and a lot of some friends of mine, they looked at it and they answered all my questions. Okay. Other people, they just wanted to argue with me. They don't want to believe that meat is not a healthy thing. They've been, it's such a brainwash thing, it really is. When I start, po you know, pointing out things like, you know, spirulina, chlorella, um, maybe you want to be, think about these two superfoods here, they, they just, you know, um, don't want to hear about it. Those are, that suddenly that's pond scum or those little green pills or whatever. Now, I'm not a vegan activist, okay? Uh, I'm not one of these animal rights guys. Um, I have my reasons. I've been I've been a vegetarian. I let's just say I've been a vegetarian 40 years, and I have so I haven't eaten meat in 40 years, and I've been a vegan about 20 years. Okay, and I'll say it for the millionth time: you want to eat those things, that's fine with me. It's not my you know it's not I'm, it's not my place to start condemning you, um, you know, but and having this activism and saving the animals. I mean that's another thing here. I'm just trying to tell you this is not a healthy food. It's in, and I'm sorry, meat eaters just can't seem to get over this fact. They cannot understand what, no, this is healthy. I mean, this is a big, it's a big, the finest cut of meat and all this kind of stuff. If you really want your finest cut of meat, you should go out and, you know, find an animal and trap it in the wild or shoot it to shoot a deer and bring it back. And that's kind of the healthiest meat you're going to find around today because so much of the meat you're going to find in the market is adulterated. But that's beside the point. That's beside the point. You know, animal protein, you know, could be, you're going to have uh, meat, fish, eggs, or dairy. They're fine if you don't cook them. If you don't cook them, you're, you're, you're in good shape. Um, but when you go to uh, cook them and you destroy these uh, peptide bonds, it becomes a mess. It's like all cooked foods are, are really are really bad for you. And I've explained this many times before. I'm going to, I think one of my videos I'm going to make very soon is about, you know, cooked foods and why you want to have it, uh, you know, why you want those foods and why you shouldn't eat them. And, um, you know, you can always, you know, people go on, as soon as I get these, I get out there, all my social media had them negative comments. Uh, you know, I look at the carnivore diet. You got Dr. So and so. I can't think of his name right now, but he's on the carnivore diet, and uh, which is really the high pro. It's the Atkins diet, Atkins diet all over again. You know, it's a high protein or high fat diet. That's the keto diet. Okay, you, why do they call it the keto diet? Well, because you're producing ketone bodies in your body and in, inside you, inside the body, all throughout. This is not healthy. This is starvation mode. You know, just because you're losing weight doesn't mean that's healthy. 
I mean, it's healthy to lose weight unless you're already too thin, but it's, it's, it's a healthy thing. But are you doing it in a healthy way? No, you're removing carbohydrates. You need carbohydrates. And just so we understand, we're not just talking about starchy carbohydrates, you know, things like uh, po potatoes and rice and white bread and all these kind of things, you know, pasta. Those are your starchy carbohydrates. And, uh, but, you know, all your fruits and vegetables are carbohydrates. They're simple carbohydrates or more, more complex hard, hybrid, uh, carbohydrates. Um, they're not starchy. So, uh, again, people really, really go after this. And it's the one subject I cannot bring up. Um, you know, I, I made a video a few years ago, 14 questions for meat eaters, as I said, and people went berserk. The meat eaters went berserk. And, you know, people from my family were angry and we'll never have you at turkey dinner again. And how dare you? And oh, how dare I? Just asking 14 questions. There weren't four, 14 accusations. They're just 14 questions. Answer the questions. You know, if you really get, I mean, if you ask me, you know, why do you eat, why do you eat this, uh, this kind of a meal? And answer my 14 questions about about this meat, about this food that you eat. I would just answer the questions. I had very a lot of reasonable people. Uh, my my daughter-in-law. She, I mean, she's a big meat eater. This girl, and um, she was, you know, sat down and she debated me on every one of the questions, the 14 questions. Very civil. We had a lot of fun. We made some jokes, and that was it. And then we went on with our lives. But this is the subject. It is so sensitive. And you really get a lot of anger. I mean, I can just feel it out there. And all I'm trying to explain to you is that cooked animal protein, okay, because you've got all these peptide bonds keeping hanging together all these amino acids that are meant to be undone. Once you cook it, it becomes very, very dangerous. So if you were to eat raw meat, fish, eggs, or dairy, I say it every time. <laughs> You don't have, gonna, you're not going to have a problem. They're not, the, the, they're not superior foods, but they're just not, uh, not going to hurt you. They're not going to be a detriment to the body because you haven't cooked them. Okay? But do we ever eat raw meat, fish, eggs, or dairy? No. I say this all the time. Sushi? Sure. Okay. Then when you're eating a raw piece of fish that's especially fr fresh and right out of the ocean, right out of the lake, whatever, that's, you're not going to have a problem with that. That's not, that's not the issue. It's cooked animal protein. But again, it's the meat. Right away, I'm up against everybody who wants a big steak. Go eat a big steak. I don't care. You know, I tell people all the time, when, when, you're eat, when somebody's smoking, we all smoke. Okay, everybody smokes. I don't care if it's a cigar or a cigarette or a joint or whatever. We everybody gets to smoke because you got smoke in the air. You know, I used to grow up. Um, you know, I went to uh, traveled on planes. They didn't stop smoking in the airplanes to the 1980s, and so you had to get in this big long tube called an airplane and you know smell everybody smoking on there till they finally got rid of it. And people, believe me, the fr smokers at the time, <laughs> they really panicked, and because uh, they had to have that nicotine f fix, but. Um, you know, I shouldn't be forced to breathe in smoke, and um, I shouldn't be forced to eat meat, and you shouldn't be forced to eat algae and a raw food diet. You can do whatever you want. And um, I say it, I've said it over so many times now. This is not about, uh, you know, animal rights. I don't really go for any of that kind of stuff. There's a lot of vegan rights ad advocates and animal rights advocates and out there. I think some of them go way too far. Some of them, their hearts are in the right place. Um, some people talk about the environment and all that. Well, it, I think uh, it's, it's a lot more environmentally sound to produce algae than it is, and it's a lot more economical to produce algae. People just don't want to eat little green pills. They want a big steak. They want a big burger. They want whatever. They want chicken. We want to have chicken tonight. Okay, we're having chicken tonight. Okay, I like pork. Okay, let's have pork tonight. I love pork. Yeah, I used to go, my favorite meal growing up at one point was like pork roast. So, and I haven't eaten any kind of pork or anything like that. Obviously, 40 years. I've been a vegetarian now. 40 years. Um, and I've been vegan about 20 years. And it's just about a matter of choice. But as soon as I discuss it, I did this one with the Joe Rogan, who the woman came out, and I just challenged her. That's all. I said, look. She comes out and says, meat is the perfect food for the human body. Meat is the most nutrient-dense, perfect food for humans. It just is. Well, I'm sorry. No, it is not. You are 100% ro ro wrong, Miss Registered Dietitian. Uh, I mean, you know, you're, j you're not even in the ballpark here. This, and this is what they tell you, teach you in the medical establishment. She, she's part of the medical establishment. She's part of that. Um, there's one of these guys, I don't have to look up his name. I'll throw it in the video if I can find it, but he's a... He's a huge guy. He's, he's got like weightlifting titles and stuff. 
big, big meat. Meat is so healthy. I mean, meat will cure cancer. So, you know, if you want to come at it from that point of view, fine. Um, but it's not true. It's not even remotely true. And I can always tell a meat eater. And I, the more meat you eat, the more I can tell you're a big meat eater. I can just see it, see it in your face. And I can see, you know, other parts of your body and everything. And it's very obvious to me that you're not a vegan. You're a big meat eater. You know what? And I'll say it again. You're a big meat eater. I'm not. That's fine. What do I care? I mean, and I got enough things to worry about whether or not I'm going around. I mean, I'm some Karen looking like, what are you doing to Richard? What What are you eating? You know, you sit there and eat that big meat. You know, you, you, you know what that animal died for you? Blah, blah, blah. You know, if you can't figure those things out, that's, you know, what can I, what can I tell you? Go back and look at my video. I'll put it in the bottom here in the in the thing. 14 questions for meat eaters. Just just 14 questions. They weren't 14 accusations. They were just some simple questions for people. And I got the worst feedback. Um, I'm never going to turkey dinner again. I can tell you that. Jeez, how dare I ask questions? People are just latched onto this. They love the meat. And okay, fine. I'm just trying to tell you that this stuff. Okay, the spirulina and chlorella. If you really want protein, it's 60% protein. Rather than meat, fish, eggs, or dairy, which are, you know, anywhere from 8 to maybe 20%. Egg whites are like pure protein. I mean, if you're going to eat anything, I guess egg whites is maybe the best. And again, if you ate them raw, you wouldn't have a problem. It's not, when you eat foods raw, they really don't become such a detriment to the body. Um, you know, the, what's the superior diet of all time? The plant-based diet and, and, and the, raw, the raw food diet. Yeah, you even get vegans. They, they'll come after me for the raw food diet. Same thing. I mean, they want cooked foods. Okay, I invented the raw food pyramid. Then afterwards, people, I don't want to say they ripped me off because they didn't, but they uh, suddenly we saw the vegan diet. You know, and the vegan diet was all this cooked food and everything and what, what you know, the vegan diet, the vegan diet pyramid. So they kind of took my concept and took it into the vegan world. Well, I, that's all the cooked food diet. So I mean, that's just not healthy. I mean, I've said it so many times. Yes, I wish a big pizza or whatever food or whatever we're eating was really healthy. Uh, soy, I wish that was healthy. It's a great, you know, way to fill up. And it's very, soy is really unhealthy. I people ask me all the time, what's better, soy or meat? Well, I don't know. I, <laughs> soy's got so many problems. And is it? Do I ever get attacked by the soy crowd? No, they don't say anything. It's the meat crowd. People love it. I, you know, I just so attached to it. They're so attached, and I. And I don't. I kind of um, got my hands in the air. I don't know exactly why, but maybe it's just conditioning, doing it for so many years, and being told this is fine. And if I want to eat a burger, I'm going to eat it. And blah blah blah. Whatever. I mean, I've had people tell me. I say you should be a vegetarian. You know, you know all sorts of people in India that are mostly vegetarian, and they'll say, well, you should be a vegetarian. You should kill kill an animal if you just bring up that argument. They'll say, well, you're killing the grass, you're killing the plant when you when you eat it. You know, and and so that's the argument. There's always an argument against rather than just saying, oh, this is the healthiest way. This is the healthiest thing we should be doing, because that's all that matters in the end is health, and that's what I'm all about uh, from beginning to end. Alpha Omega, health, health, health and I don't care what you put into your body. And I certainly don't care if you eat meat. Dr. Bob, I'll see you next time. Hey folks, check out all my books on Amazon.com. Uh, I've written seven books now, uh, but this one's on Audible, Silver, The Miracle Mineral, End of Infectious Disease, uh, The Cure in the Mirror, Nature's Protocol for Surviving Cancer, that's on Audible. And then my most popular book, I have sold tens of thousands of these books through the years, never promoted it, never marketed it, it is the Miraculous Properties of Ionized Water, the definitive guide to the world's healthiest substance. Third edition, I revamped the whole thing. It's on Audible too. So those are all read by the author's voice, my voice, and I hope you like them.